हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी सॉल्व सम एग्जांपल ऑफ एक्सरसाइज एंड टू इलेस्ट्रेशन सो आवर फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज नंबर 5.4 क्वेश्चन इज वन एंड ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग ऑफ लेंथ एल इज कनेक्टेड टू पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम and the other to a small page of smooth horizontal table if the particle moves in a circular with speed v the net force on the particle uh, directed toward the center is how many so friends here in the string tension force are cre create so is this tension force is always in the direction of the centripetal force so we can say that here tension force a is created means for particle moving on circular path with constant velocity tension t provide necessary centripetal force next illustration number a cyclist speeding at 80 km per hour on a level road takes a sharp circular turn of radius 3 meter without reducing the speed the coefficient of the static friction between the tire and the road is 0.1 will the cyclist slip while taking the turn friends first of all now we want to find out the speed of the cyclist so speed v is equal to 18 km per hour so first of all we convert into meter per second so multiply 18 multiply 1000 and divide by 3600 so speed of the cyclist is 5 meter per second and last video we prove that the maximum safe speed up for the circular track is formula is v maximum is equal to under mu s rg where mu s is a coefficient of static friction its value is 0.1 here r is a radius is 3 meter and g is gravitation acceleration 9.8 all this value are substitute calculate and we get answer 1.71 meter per second this is the maximum speed more than this speed we move on the road so cyclist slip while taking the turn next uh, 5.5 a constant retarding force of 15 newton is applied to a body of mass 20 kg moving initially with a speed of 15 meter per second how long does the body take to stop friends look here here retardation force means now we write down minus 50 mass is 20 initial velocity is 15 meter per second and final velocity is 0 because body take to stop means final velocity is zero now we want to find out time so first of all newton's second law we can write down f is equal to ma so first of all we can find out the value of acceleration so acceleration a is equal to f upon m f is minus 50 upon divided by 20 so we get minus 2.5 meter per second square and now we have equation of motion v is equal to v0 plus at here v is a final velocity is 0 v0 initial velocity 15 and a is equal to minus 2.5 and t so this term is move left hand side so it is converted into positive and now we want to find out t so t is equal to 15 upon 2.5 means we get 6 second 
so after six second it is a stop next example illustration a circular reset uh, race track of the radius 300 meter is banked at the angle of 50 degree if the coefficient of the friction between the wheel of the race car and the road is 0.2 what is the a first optimum speed of the race car to avoid wear and tear on its tire and b maximum permissible speed to avoid slipping so friends look here now we have formula for optimum speed v0 is equal to under root rg tan theta here r is a radius available g is 9.8 and tan theta means 15 degree are available so with the help of natural tangent we can find out value of tan 50 is 0.2679 and we calculate and uh, optimum speed we get 28.1 meter per second and friends last video we solve maximum six safe speed formula v maximum is equal to under root rg bracket mu s plus tan theta upon 1 minus mu s tan theta now we have all value are available and this value are substituting this equation so r is equal to 300 g is equal to 9.8 mu s is equal to 0 0.2 10 50 degree upon 1 minus 0 0.2 cross 10 50 friends here you calculate carefully and uh, after calculation we get answer v maximum is equal to 38.1256 means v maximum similarly 38.1 meter per second this is a maximum safe speed you can drive next 5.2 a pebble of mass 0 0.005 kg is through vertically upward gives the direction and magnitude of the net force on the paper first a during its upward motion b during its downward direction motion and see at the highest point where it is momentarily at rest do you answer change if the pebble was thrown at the angle of 45 with the horizontal direction so first when marble means stone is thrown in vertically upward direction so gravitational acceleration is in the downward direction so now we have formula force f is equal to mg mass is available and g we know that 9.8 so we get uh, value 0. 49 newton in downward direction second b when marble is moving in downward direction net force acting on same way f is equal to mg and same way we get 0. 0.49 newton in downward direction and c the highest point marble is momentarily at rest in this condition resultant force acting on it is zero the marble is thrown at angle marking 45 with horizontal then the highest point its horizontal component remain constant next 5.3 give the magnitude and the direction of the net force acting on the stone of mass 0.1 kg first a just after it is dropped from the window of the stationary train second 
just after it is dropped from the window of a train running at the constant velocity of 36 km per hour and c just after it is dropped from the window of the train accelerating with 1 meter per second square and d lying on the floor of the train which is accelerating with 1 meter per second square the stone being at rest relative to the train neglect a resistance throughout so first a the mass of the stone is m is equal to 0.1 kg and g is equal to 10 so stone is drop means force f is equal to mg this formula we can find out magnitude of force so m is equal to 0.1 and g is equal to now we take 10 so we get 1 newton so according to this force it is moving back downward direction second when train is moving with constant velocity of 36 km per hour and stone is dropped from the window of train so same way according to formula of force f is equal to mg and we get 1 newton and it is moving downward direction when train is moving with constant velocity so acceleration is zero and no other force will act uh, expect gravitational force c when train is traveling with acceleration of one meter per second square following force will act means f is equal to ma m is equal to 0.1 and acceleration a is equal to 1 so we get 0.1 newton and weight f2 is equal to 0.1 cross 10 means 1 newton so resultant force under root f1 square plus f2 square means 0.1 plus 1 square so we get under root 1.1 1 means 1 newton and d when train is traveling at 1 meter per second square acceleration of the stone lying in bottom of the compound compartment of train will be 1 meter per second square so force f is equal to ma so value of mass is 0.1 and acceleration is 1 so we get 0.1 newton and five point one give the magnitude and the direction of the net force acting on first drop of train falling down with the constant speed b the cork of mass ten gram floating on water c the kite skillfully held stationary in the sky d a car moving with constant velocity of 30 km per hour on a rough road and e the high speed of the electron in space far from all materials object and free of the electric and the magnetic field so first a according to newton's first law of motion the rain drop is moving in downward direction with constant velocity hence acceleration is zero so force is also zero second the cork is floating on water because the, on the cork two types are force available in downward direction its weight and in upward beyond force so total force is zero so the resultant force on the cork is zero c the net force on the kite skillfully held in stationary in the sky it is stationary means total force of the on the kite is zero means it is raised d 
since car is moving with constant velocity the net force of the car is zero because here acceleration is zero so force is also zero and e since electron is far away from the all material agencies provide electromagnetic or gravitational force and the net force on the electron is zero so friends uh, you solve all this example and write down in your notebook and prepare it. Thank you.